Endings are hard. Any chapped ass monkey with a keyboard can poop out a beginning. But endings are impossible. You try to tie up every loose end, but you never can. The fans are always gonna bitch. There's always gonna be holes. And since it's the ending, it's all supposed to add up to something. I'm telling you, they're raging pain in the ass. Uh, we also kind of wanted to, to, to you know, communicate to you guys. Uh, this was a community decision. Like the, the, the network and the studio did not say, like, hey guys, get out of here, you're done. It was more of a, it's like a dog you love putting you down here. You know, right? It's, um, no, this was, this was certainly not an easy decision. We're going to address it, let's just address it. Now. Yeah, it wasn't an easy decision. Uh, it was months and months, if not years, of discussion between uh, he and I, between uh, the rest of the, the, the cast, between the crew, between our writers, between our producers, between the studio, between the network. Um, nobody wanted to see this show fizzle out. Uh, and I think that it was, it was everyone wanting to do the biggest service to this show that we could by going out strong. And it just seemed like the writing was kind of on the wall as to when when that was happening. And I think everybody kind of felt that it was it was coming soon. And so it was just it was just taking that leap of faith and going like, well guys, let's let's get out the paint, let's paint that finish line and, and hold our heads high because what we've accomplished is uh, unlike any other. So what's it all add up to? It's hard to say. But me, I'd say this was a test for Sam and Dean. And I think they did all right. Up against good, evil, angels, devils, destiny, and God himself. They made their own choice. They chose family. And, well, isn't that kind of the whole point? I don't know if this has been said publicly, but Jensen and I were the ones, at least we were led to believe that we were the ones who were going to ultimately decide when the show ended. And so we had this conversation for a decade, you know, we had had this sort of like, okay, what do we do? You know, I'm falling in love with a girl and she lives here. I can't do this alone. Yes, you can. Yeah. Well, I don't want to. It, it just felt like 
you know, we'd have this discussion with people we love and care about and other members of the cast and crew. And we sort of said like, okay, we gotta get home. You know, he, he and his wife and kids live in Austin. Uh, Jen and I and the kids live in Austin. And so we had made that commitment to each other, like to stick with it. Supernatural aired its series finale on Thursday. And uh, I don't know about y'all, but I shed some tears. Um, I watched it here at the house and um, I, uh, yeah, everything kind of came flooding back. And uh, it was really uh, emotional for me. I don't know how it was for you guys. Um, so I'm looking forward to hearing it. I wish I could see your faces. I know I, I can feel you guys. I can feel y'all watching and I can feel like you're with me and thank you. Um, so uh, I feel the love, but, uh, and I hope y'all feel it back for me. We ultimately made the decision. I think, believe it or not, I'm, I think he and I made the decision during the filming of season 13 that season 15 would be it. And so as far as that's concerned, that that was our news to share. I was scared. Because when it all came down to it, it was always you and me. It's always been you and me. Don't leave me. Don't leave me. I can't do this alone. Yes, you can. Well, I don't want to. Hey, this, I could do this for another several years. This is, mm -hmm. I think we just found the pocket here. What am I supposed to do? Keep fighting. If we're doing 20 episodes this season instead of 23, which you've been doing for a while now. Yeah. What is there a story behind the shaved off three episodes? I think that was when, going back to what we were talking about earlier, when Jared and I sit down and we talk about, do we want to do this? Do we want to continue doing this? Um, you know, it's not about, it, it's not about the things that it's usually about, I think, when these kind of conversations come up. It's like, oh, I want more money, or oh, I want a bigger trailer, or I want a this or that, you know, like, um, the conversation is quality of life. We both have families. It's a little bit more of how can we balance, make our, our work life balance a little better. And, uh, and shaving a couple episodes off gives us a lot more time. Uh, you know, it gives us almost an extra month out of our year, which when you only get about two and a half uh, month hiatus, um, that goes by really quickly. Mm -hmm. And who knows, if it's like all of a sudden we don't feel like we've run a marathon by the end of the season, and we're actually still pretty energized, then it's like, hey, this, I could do this for another several years. This is, mm -hmm. I think we just found the pocket here. <laughs> it's still giving, uh, um, you know, those, the, the network and the studio enough content to, um, to do what they need to do. Um, but I think it's just pulling it back just a little bit to give us a little reprieve. Seems fair. I think so.
and Sam say goodbye to each other. Hopefully it's see you later and not goodbye, you know? We'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Uh. <laughs> um, the show could go for, the show could go for many more years and still be a, a great show. Leaving not only the, the, the fans wanting more, but also us wanting more. Like, I hope this isn't the last time I'll play Sam Winchester. Um, nothing, nothing ever stays dead in Supernatural. Yeah. yeah, this is also the last time we get to see you guys as uh, Sam and Dean Winchester. Yeah. For now, for now. Fingers crossed. We got work to do. That's Chuck's ending? No. No, I don't think so. After everything that he has put us through, I'll be damned if I'm gonna let some glorified fanboy get the last word. No doubt, endings are hard. But then again, nothing ever really ends. Be gone long, I it came to the point of like, okay, I think this is the right time. Like, I, it was a, it's a weird decision. And then I'm gonna sell them out. <laughs> when Jensen got to Vancouver two weeks ago, I have a text message from him. He's like, man, crazy being back in Vancouver. I feel like we could do two more years. And I was like, let's talk, man. Like, I <laughs> to all the SBN family out there, thank you so much for uh, taking this journey with us for 15 years. Uh, love you. And we won't be gone long, I promise. Thanks for watching Wayward Winchester. Subscribe for more awesome Wayward content. Till next time, as always, no chick flick moments. Peace. No chick flick moments. Awesome. That's awesome. Right. Right. Come on. You know what? You're awesome. <laughs> Thanks. Um, you too, I guess. <laughs>